Here we see a sheet of squamous cells which at low power can actually appear as a hyperchromatic crowded group. But when we look at it at higher power, uh, we can see as we focus up and down that the NC ratios are still quite low. There's quite a lot of space between nuclei and we can also see that there are some inflammatory cells within the cell group. So there's neutrophils associated with the squamous cells and we also notice that the cytoplasm of the squamous cells is fairly dense and one other interesting feature is that the nuclei tend to stream in one direction. You can see the sort of like a direction here as they go. Um, at a different field we can appreciate that the nuclei are large the nuclear membranes are very smooth, the nuclei are extremely round, and the chromatin is quite open, and they are prominent nucleoli. The cytoplasm is still quite abundant and fairly dense, and sometimes uh, in repair or reactive cell groups, we can actually see these little cytoplasmic tails that appear to um, kind of have this sharp, pointy shapes. So this is quite characteristically seen in repair or in reactive cells. Uh, so just to summarize the features that we can see in reactive cells, large nuclei, usually fairly open chromatin, prominent nucleoli, relatively low NC ratios, sometimes we can see streaming of the nuclei which appear to go in one direction, um, and the cytoplasm is usually fairly dense. And occasionally we can also see inflammatory cells admixed with these cell groups. So this is a non-neoplastic cause of hyperchromatic cell groups.